hello everyone welcome to my channel indian school of physics so today i have come up with another problem which is uh, liquid inside a rolling shell on an inclined plane as you can see so let's uh, go to the statement of this problem directly so as you can uh, see here it's given a uniform shell of mass m and radius r having a non viscous liquid of same mass m is rolling without slipping on a fixed inclined plane as shown in the figure acceleration due to gravity is g downward find the pressure difference between point a and point b these points are present inside the liquid neglect the thickness of the shell so you can refer the diagram for the same here the key point will be liquid is non viscous so it means this liquid within this uh, is not going to rotate as the shell will perform uh, combined motion liquid will just translate alone so let's uh, discuss the concept part of it as you can see for a liquid in an accelerated uh, vessel we write this pressure difference uh, ex uh, expressions which is a standard result here Now in this case, this vessel is moving upwards with acceleration of a naught. So this pressure difference becomes P B minus P A is equal to rho G plus a naught times h. Similarly, here uh, we can uh, see this vessel is moving down with acceleration of uh, a naught downwards in uh, gravity of G. So this pressure difference between B and A we can write it as rho G minus a naught h. these expressions you can uh, obtain by many methods one is g effective where you will be writing vector g as g effective as vector g minus vector a a of vessel or you can uh, draw the free body diagram from the vessel itself and write the equation you will be obtaining this result so we are going to use basically this result where acceleration of vessel and uh, g both are in same direction so let's uh, solve this problem now so as you can uh, see in this diagram here if we resolve the component of uh, g along the incline which will be g sin theta and perpendicular to the incline which is going to be g cos theta and this uh, shell it is present in combined motion so it will have some acceleration of center of mass acm and it will have some angular acceleration of alpha as shown in the figure so here this liquid which is uh, non viscous in nature it will not be rotating as uh, there is no friction between the container uh, shell you can say and the liquid so liquid will not be rotating so here directly i can write this pressure difference between b and a now this component of g sin theta will behave as g and uh, acceleration acm will behave like acceleration of vessel so directly i can write this expression as rho g sin theta minus acm times uh, distance between the two points which is 2r in this case and also this a and alpha are related to each other as acm is equal to r alpha as there is no slipping so somehow we have to find this acm in order to get the answer for uh, this question so let's calculate this acm so if we draw the fbd diagram for uh, fbd for uh, the system fbd means free body diagram so normal reaction will be acting perpendicular to the incline friction on the shell will be acting which is providing the rotation to it which is along the incline plane we are resolving this uh, total weight which is mass of the shell plus mass of the liquid which is 2 mg sin theta along the incline and 2 mg cos theta which is uh, perpendicular to incline so basically we are resolving this uh, 2 mg force into two directions so now here i can uh, write easily that this acceleration uh, equation or equation of motion of this uh, shell for translation will become 2 mg sin theta minus fr is equal to 2 m acm so this is our first equation so as i have mentioned earlier that uh, since it is uh, liquid is non viscous liquid will not rotate it will just translate so there is no angular acceleration uh, term present in the liquid now second part is we will take a torque about uh, center of mass which is going to give us fr into r because torque due to mg and torque due to normal reaction will become zero as they are passing through the center of mass itself so that is equal to icm alpha where icm will be moment of inertia of liquid 
plus moment of inertia of the shell since liquid is just translating its moment of inertia is going to be zero there is no rotational component in the liquid part so simply this icm will become 2 by 3 mr square now if we substitute this value of 2 by 3 mr square and acm equal to r alpha we are going to get friction value which comes as 2 by 3 m acm now if you substitute this friction value in uh, first equation which is uh, 2 mg sin theta minus fr is equal to 2 m acm we are going to get uh, the value of uh, acm as 3g sin theta by 4 so this will be the value of acceleration of the shell which is 3g sin theta by 4 this will be the acceleration for the liquid as well now once we know this uh, acceleration of center of mass we can substitute the value of acm in the expression of uh, pb minus pa which is going to give us pb minus pa rho g sin theta minus acm acm was 3g sin theta by 4 times distance between the two points which is 2r in this case so on simplification we are going to get pb minus pa as rho g r sin theta by 2 is going to be the answer for this problem and uh, here rho value is known to us which is mass of the liquid divided by volume of the liquid so as you can see here rho is m by 4 by 3 pi r cube i hope you have enjoyed this problem if you are uh, liking uh, our problem please uh, share with others like this uh, video and uh, subscribe my channel please motivate and uh, thank you very much see you in the next video